just one second. Testing one, two, test, test. Probably use a little volume on this. Good. Okay, now? All right. We'll say good morning again. It's a uh, morning. Happy Children's Day and wonderful to see lots of little ones. I don't know if you can see them all up here in the front, but we've got quite a few. So let me just start with a quick word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day that we can come together and worship you. And Lord, we thank you for all of the children and for everyone in attendance. Please bless our service. In thy name we pray. Amen. Hey, that's perfectly okay. We're just glad to have them. So, um, but again, I said good morning. Good morning to everyone that's here. And we'll take a look uh, briefly at our announcements and uh, do our greetings. Uh, if you look in your yellow flyer in your bulletin, you can see the activities for this week for Zion. Uh, next Sunday is Father's Day. We have our normal three services, and we will observe Holy Communion. The altar flowers are presented to the glory of God by Sue Race in honor, in honor of the birthday of her daughter Elizabeth. And the bulletin is presented to the glory of God in memory of Ray Sewell by Donna Sewell. And also the flowers underneath the clock over here behind me are in memory of Larry Wolfgang. We had his services yesterday. Please keep Linda especially in your prayers. Greeters today were Marsha and Doug. And we thank you to them. They're going to assist me with the singing again today. Uh, community picnic is June 26th. At 10.30, there is an insert in your bulletin, and it tells you there when the choir practice for the picnic is, if you're interested in joining and helping out. July newsletter deadline is today. See Rosalie if you have something. And also, this is the whole congregation is invited uh, to help Marty celebrate his 90th birthday. So that's coming up on July the 3rd from 3 to 7 at their house, and RSVP to Becky. Uh, by June 19th, if you can join. Join the family and friends for that. So does anybody have anything else that I... Oh, VBS, I should mention that. That is coming on June 20th to 24th at the Moton Playground. So that's coming up rather quickly. It'll be a week from Monday. So anything else we forgot? Okay, if you need to vet, register for VBS... And we do have lots of children here today if you're interested. See Sue Race, and she'll help you with that. So, okay, I think we're good. Then we're going to move on, and we're going to do our first hymn, which is 447. Like I said, Doug and Marsha are going to help me sing. And it's Jesus Loves the Little Children.
now we will have our presentation by the nursery department. I was going to say, I know I saw Lori. He's just behind the pole. <laughs> Good morning, Lori. Good morning. I have two little charmers with me, Jackie and Zane, and we are going to um, build a Sandman for you, okay? Ready? I made a Sandman fat and tall. His head was round like a big beach ball. He had shells for eyes and seaweed for hair, and I gave him a hat that I found somewhere. We stood on the beach day after day, then a wave came in and washed him away. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful job. It's too cute. <laughs> now we're going to have a presentation by the Kids Club, and Joan is going to take care of that. everybody. We just finished Zufari, where we learned that God is wild about you. You guys have a... On our Zufari, we saw lions, zebras, Tigers, elephants, penguins, rhinos, monkeys, hippos, cheetahs, alligators, and giraffes. These animals helped us learn about God and how we should live. Along the way, we met Samson, Jacob and Esau, Jonah, Joshua, Gideon, the Good Samaritan, and others. Three memory verses we learned are, Come follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Love your neighbors as yourself, and God remains faithful forever. At the end of Sufari, six of us went to the Lehigh Valley Zoo with six of our Zion Sufari guides. It was a fun trip.
our Zufari theme song was I'm Trusting You. And our helpers are going to be handing out some instruments so that you can keep the beat for us.
All right, thank you so much, Joan, and the, the kids, and we enjoyed that. And they were, they were singing, you could really hear them. So next we're gonna sing again, hymn 495, Jesus Loves Even Me. Thank you, good singing. And also, thank you to Rosalie for playing. She knows I love to hear her play the piano, so we're getting treated to that today. So let's have our morning prayer next. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this time that we can come together and worship you. And Lord, we thank you for the day that turned out to be beautiful, Lord, because now we don't have a lot of that driving rain or wind to come into your house. And Lord, we thank you for everyone that's here. We want to keep everybody in our prayer list on our prayers. And we do want to remember those who are grieving and those who have medical problems, Lord. You know who they are and everything that everybody needs. And we know that you will bless them and take care of them. Lord, we also want to pray for, our, for Marion and our program that's coming up, Lord. We know that you will bless that as well. And, um, ingrained in the hearts of our children, that they can remember it as they grow older and take the lessons of your word to heart. And Lord, please be with um, everyone here. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you. In thy name we pray. Amen. Okay, next we're going to do the recognition of our graduates. As you all know, we missed our Children's Day in 2020 and 2021 due to COVID. So we're making up now for those years as well as this current year. And Becky has all of that information and is going to take care of that. Um, if your name is in the bulletin as one of our graduates, if you could come up now, please. Don't all rush at once. <laughs> you guys can just line up along the front here. Don't hide behind the curtain. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with our high school graduates. Colin Ernst, who's on the end there. 
He graduated from Government Fund High School in May, on May 27th. Colin is the son of Tom and Barbara Ernst, the brother of Nathan, Natalie, and Amelia, and the grandson of Gloria Redke. During Colin's time at Governor Mifflin, he participated in marching, concert, jazz, and govs band, along with orchestra. Colin was also in wrestling, water polo, baseball, and a member of the National Honor Society. Colin plans to apply to the electrical lineman program through MedEd. So someday when you see a lineman up working on the wires, it could be Colin. I think that's cool. Congratulations, Colin. Next, we have Kaylin Brendel. She graduated from Daniel Boone High School with honors last Friday night. Kaylin is the daughter of Steve Brendel, sister of Jacob McKenzie and Ethan, and the granddaughter of Martin and Rosalie Redke. And I'm proud to say she's my niece. Kaylin participated in German and debate clubs. She cheered throughout high school and was the cheerleading co captain this year and a part of the varsity club. Kaylin plans to attend the University of the Sciences for Pharmaceutical Sciences. Yeah. Way above my level. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Alexander Worley is not here today, but he graduated from Wilson High School with honors in June 2022. I think that was last week also. Alexander is the son of David and Tammy Worley, brother of Scott and Emily, and grandson of Carol and Glenn Worley. Alexander participated in the Wilson High School football program, strength and conditioning, and he had an internship with the Matt Wolf team at REMAX. Alexander plans to attend Alvernia University for business finance. And our final high school graduate is Carter Shank. He graduated from Governor Mifflin High School with Colin on May 27th. Carter is the son of Dustin and Katie Jo Shank, the brother, brother of Kendall and Jack, and grandson of Doug and Joanne Young and Carter plans to attend Penn State Berks. And now our college graduates for this year, we have Natalie Ernst. She graduated from Temple University with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Natalie is the daughter of Tom and Barbara Ernst, sister of Nathan, Colin, and Amelia, and granddaughter of Gloria Redke. Congratulations, Natalie. Just looking down there with your brothers. <laughs> Now our 2021 high school graduate is Mackenzie Brendel. She graduated from Daniel Boone High School with honors in June 2021. Mackenzie is the daughter of Steve Brendel, sister of Jacob, Kaylin, and Ethan, and the granddaughter of Martin and Rosalie Redke, and again, my niece. Mackenzie participated in German Club, Girl Scouts, National Honor Society, and Lacrosse. Mackenzie is currently attending Penn State Berks for Global and International Studies, and will be going up to main campus for spring semester. Congratulations. In 2021, we had Scott Worley graduate from college. He graduated from Penn State Berks in July 2021 with a Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Scott is the son of David and Tammy Worley, brother of Emily and Alexander, and the grandson of Carol and Glenn Worley. In 2020, we had two high school graduates. Emily Worley graduated from Wilson High School with honors in June 2020. Emily is the daughter of David and Tammy Worley, sister of Scott and Alexander, and granddaughter of Carol and Glenn Worley. Emily participated in National Honor Society, dance and dance competition for ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, hip hop, and tap. Makes me tired thinking about all that. Emily is attending all the university Alvernia University dual majoring in early childhood and special education. Also in 2020, Kendall Shank graduated from Governor Mifflin High School in May 2020. Kendall is the daughter of Dustin and Katie Jo Shank, sister of Carter and Jack, and granddaughter of Doug and Joanne Young. Kendall played softball and was a pitcher. Kendall is attending the University of Delaware for sports management and continues to play softball. And last but not least, we have Nathan Ernst, he graduated from Temple University in May 2020 with a Bachelor of Science for Finance. Nathan is the son of Barbara Ernst, brother of Tom and Barbara Ernst, brother of Natalie, Colin, and Amelia, and grandson of Gloria Redkay. Sorry, it's the way it like wrapped around. The line. Sorry, Nathan. 
congratulations. Congratulations again to all of our graduates. Now Becky's going to stay here with me because next is our, our tithe and offering section, and I'll have the prayer in a second, but when Rosalie plays the offertory, she'd like you to sing along. So we're going to sing the songs that are listed in your bulletin, and when we do Hallelujah, we're going to do it through twice, and the women are going to go first, and then the men will go second. So we'll do that. So let's have our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the faithfulness of the members of Zion and the friends of Zion who keep our ministry going. And Lord, we can continue to bless others. Thank you for everything that is given today, Lord, and may it be used to your glory. In thy name we pray. Amen. You can do better. Sounded wonderful.
you. You may be seated. And now we will have our message by Marion. Marion and friends, I should say. Yeah. So, and you don't need this, Marion. Right? I don't. I have. I think it's working already. All right, that's good. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Can everyone hear me? All right. All right. That's good. All right. Boy, this is an exciting morning. We all burned some calories already and laughed. That's good. I love this Children's Day service. I'm so encouraged already. I mean, just from the little ones, the little ones walking up and building a sandcastle up to high school and college graduates, how encouraging. Just really, really neat to see. And as adults, it's neat to see that, you know. And um, uh, I just... um, just was encouraged to open up. And Matthew 18, uh, you know, the disciples were always wondering who was the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And so in Matthew 18, it says, at that time, the disciples came to Jesus saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He was, they were probably expecting they were, he was going to say, well, you disciples, you guys, you guys rock, you know, you guys are the greatest. And Jesus surprised them. He called to him a child And he put the child in the midst of them, and he said, truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Over and over and over again in the Bible, it talks about humility. And, um, you know, children are so willing to learn. And they're like sponges, you know. They learn so much. And that's, that's what Jesus is saying, too. Be willing to listen and learn like a child and humble yourself, and then you will gain knowledge of the Lord. So um, uh, we are, we're going to have fun. I mean, we already had fun. I feel like I'm just like the the follow-up here to all the fun already. But um, we serve a creative God. The fifth word of the Bible is create, right? In the beginning, God created. He created all things, the heavens, the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the the, um, animals that we talked about this morning. He created you and me. And you know, a creator has a purpose. And he created all of us with a purpose. None of us are here by accident. You are here with a divine purpose. And um, the reason that you were able to get up and breathe today is indication that God is not finished with you yet. And um, he loves you. And uh, we're just going to be talking about that today. Uh, we're going to be talking. And I love that because um, you teachers talked about your three things, that, that God loves you, that he has a plan, and that um, he has a purpose, and that um, he carries us through. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So it really just uh, dovetailed really nicely. So um, God created all things, like I said, and he gave us all these gifts. The coolest thing, I, well, not the coolest thing, but one of the really neat things he gave us was a gift of laughter. We saw it already this morning, but you know, the neatest thing is that he made it good for us. It's actually good for our bodies. We know that, right? Uh, science is figuring that out too. Proverbs 17, 22 says, a cheerful heart is good medicine. So I hope to give you a little bit of that medicine this morning. We're going to just not take ourselves too seriously sometimes and just laugh. And then we'll also uh, just hope to encourage you as well. So, um, let me just uh, bring out um, my, one of my, my characters. Her name is Lucy. Lucy, would you please um, come on out here and say hello? This is awesome, <laughs> everyone. Everyone, oh, my goodness. Hey, you, you girls, you did a great job. Yeah. yeah, why don't you tell everyone your name? Hey there, my name is Lucy. Yeah, Lucy, Lucy, what, what are you doing? I'm looking for my grandpa. Um, I, there's a lot of grandpas here. Oh, hey there. <laughs> He's not your grandpa. He's not my grandpa. No, 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 no. But, but you know what? Uh, you'll get to see your grandpa next week. That's right. Every Sunday, I sit right next to my grandpa at church. She does every Sunday next to her grandpa. It's very sweet. Yes, it is. Yeah. Lucy, what? I noticed last Sunday, what? Um, that your grandpa slept through the entire sermon. Yes, he did. Lucy, what? I thought I gave you a quarter to keep your grandpa awake. Yeah, the grandpa gave me 20 bucks to let him sleep. (laughs) I'm so sorry, Pastor (laughs) Shuey. It's okay. It's okay. 
I love my grandpa. I know. And my grandma, let me tell you, she is so lovely. Oh, she is. Oh, she is. Her hair is like silk. It is. Yeah, her, her skin is like satin. That's so sweet. Yeah, her, her teeth are like the stars. Wow. They come out at night. <laughs> She's still lovely. Oh, she is. Yes, yeah, she's got a twin sister. Really? Yeah, yeah. When they were 70 years old, her twin sister started walking five miles a day. Good for her. Yeah, she's 72 now, and we have no idea where she is. <laughs> oh, oh, this is good. They're laughing. Yeah, yes, exactly. You know, I've been reading an esteemed scientific journal. You're reading an esteemed scientific journal? Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. What's it called? Reader's Digest. <laughs> what did it say? It said that when we laugh, it makes our livers vibrate up and down really quickly. It makes our, our livers vibrate? Yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So you all can enjoy the, the program today and you can exercise your livers. <laughs> that's right. Make your liver quiver. I guess so. <laughs> I guess. Now, Lucy, yeah, listen, you know, we are going to be talking about a lot of things. We're going to be talking about how much God loves us, yeah, and, and that he has created us with a plan and a purpose, yeah, yeah, and how he is with us through, through all things. I can't wait. I know. So, so why don't you go ahead and, and say goodbye, Lucy? All righty. Goodbye, Lucy. <laughs> oh, Lucy, thanks so much for bringing a little bit of joy. Now, now, I've got um, another friend to introduce to you. Uh, she's not a, a tropical, you know, kind of safari sort of friend, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> well, hi there. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, everyone, this is Myrtle. Myrtle. Yeah. Listen, well, I need you to be on your best behavior today. Uh-huh. Yeah. You tell me I got to be in a good mood. <laughs> yes. Yes, Myrtle, good mood. Yeah, no sassiness. No sassiness? No. No attitude? No attitude? No. No, because we all know what comes from a sassy cow. Yes, they do. Why don't you remind them what comes from a sassy cow? Sour cream. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We did that. We did that. Uh, that joke the other night and someone said, steak. <laughs> I don't find that funny. <laughs> Sorry, Myrtle. So, so you were saying, yeah, so, so I was saying, you know what, we're going to laugh, we're going to have fun this morning. What is it that you do? Well, um, actually, I'm a ventriloquist. Yeah, right. And I work at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> No, no, seriously, yeah, yeah, eat more chicken, closed on Sundays. <laughs> seriously, I, I'm a ventriloquist. You talk to yourself. Uh, actually, I do. You got voices in your head. Yeah, <laughs> I do, actually. Are there difficult letters? Yes, yes, there are always difficult letters. People ask me about this all the time. Like what? Well, like M's, P's, B's, those are difficult. Like what? Like, like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That would be difficult. Oh, you're telling me if I say Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, that would be difficult? Right, right. That would be difficult. Like bees, like Betty Botter. Betty Botter bought some butter, but the butter was bitter. So she got some better butter, and she put the better butter in her batter. Good for Betty Botter, who got the better butter, who put it in her batter. That would be beautiful. <laughs> So listen, yeah, listen, you know what, um, you know, I need you to keep in mind, yeah, that, that you need to be kind with your words. Really? Yeah. What else do you do? Well, besides ventriloquism, I like to sing. Really? Yeah. We heard some of the children sing this morning. I can sing. Really? Yes, I can sing high C. I can sing middle C. She can sing low C. That was unkind. I thought you should know. 
Um, Myrtle, do you know what? Well, you see, Proverbs uh, 16, 24 says kind words are like honey. Like honey, honey. Like honey. You know, they're sweet to the soul. They're healthy for our body. Like laughter. Like laughter. Mm -hmm. You know what I saw the other day? What? I saw some seeds. I, I thought I brought some along. You, you brought some along? Yeah, check them out. What? They're back there. Okay. Um, right. Oh, yes, I see. Oh, so, oh, so Myrtle, are you going to plant these seeds? Yeah. Look at this, boys and girls. I'm going to plant these seeds. I'm going to grow me some watermelon. You're going to grow some watermelon. Uh-huh. Um, these are tomato seeds. I know I'm going to plant them, and I'm going to grow some watermelon. Um, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to plant some flower seeds, and I'm going to grow some zucchini. Myrtle, yeah. It, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. Boys and girls, if, if Myrtle plants tomato seeds, what's she going to get? What are you, are you kidding me? I plant tomato seeds and I don't get watermelon. Yeah, yeah really? I get tomatoes? Yeah. yeah, really? What's your name? Young man, what's your name? What's your name? Daniel, Daniel you are a smart kid. <laughs> yes, he is. He said that when you plant tomatoes, seeds, you're going to get tomatoes. It's called the law of the harvest. I don't believe it. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. It's, it's the truth, you see. What we put in is what we get out. Really? Yeah. Like, like planting good seeds of, of kindness, like kind words. You see, when we use kind words, words of encouragement, words of, of uh, support, uh, kindness to other people, do you know what? Look, it's, it helps other people. It, it's encouraging to them. You know, speaking these kind words over these graduates and over these boys and girls today, it's encouraging them. It's, it's lifting them up. Uh -huh. And the opposite is true, too. You know, we put in, we sow seeds of discord, gossip, unkind words, anger. It stirs up quarrels and, and creates distrust. You see, what we put in is what we get out. Ah, see. Yeah, look. You are exactly right. That's exactly right. You see, so what I put in is what I get out. That's right. So work on using kind words. Those kind words with that are like honey. I like honey, honey. That's exactly right. That's what we want to be sowing. And you know what? It not only um, is encouraging to other people, it also is evidence of the Lord in our lives. It shows, it shines our light. That's right. Yeah, Matthew 5, 16 says, Go ahead, shine your light. Let other people see your good needs, good deeds, not for our glory, but that our Father in heaven is glorified. That's right. That's right. So do you know what? Look, I'm real glad I, I need you to say goodbye right now. Really? Yeah, you tell me I got to be moving along. Yes, I think that is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I like them. They're laughing. <laughs> I know, Myrtle. That was fun. Now, um, I'm just going to grab a drink of water. I um, have another friend. Now, I grew up in Berks County. I, um, I uh, grew up in Kutztown, and uh, my parents spoke Pennsylvania Dutch. And I don't know that so many people around here speak it a whole lot anymore. But, um, you know, it carries itself on from time to time. Boys and girls, I have another friend to introduce to you. His name is Chester. But Chester, um, he forgets his name. Would, would you help me? you help me call for Chester? Okay, it goes like this. Chester, 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 Chester. Well, hey there, how you doing? <laughs> Chester, yes. I am so glad to see you here today. Ay, 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 this is wonderful good. <laughs> Isn't it great to be here? It is so good to be out here in Lowton today. <laughs> I am so glad you're here. It's just when I introduce myself. Yes, Chester, this is when you introduce yourself. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Good to see you today. My name... Chester. Yeah, what was it? 
Wait a second, I think I heard you a little louder on all ears. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you there, and this is Philippi. You're rocking it. <laughs> Be nice, all right. I, I like her. I know, I know. She's very wonderful, yes. So, so your name is, my name is Charlie. Good to meet you. <laughs> no, they did they did not say Charlie. No, no. Now listen again. All righty. Now, what was it? That's exactly right. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. My name is Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. It is not Chuck E. Cheese. I thought that's what they should. No, 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 no. Now one more time. These boys and girls are trying to be helpful to you. Would you listen? Oh, okay, very good. Now, hold on one second. He's going to take our picture. Hey, Pastor Sheila, you can, do, you can take our picture again. And this time, I'm going to say cheese. <laughs> <laughs> cheese. Awesome. Thank you so much. I, I didn't blink, did I? No, yeah, thank you. My blinkers haven't worked in years. <laughs> Okay, so now listen, so you back to your name. Yes, yes, yes. Now, where were we? Once again, what was that again? Chester. Let me tell you, you guys are the best audience I had all day. <laughs> They're the only audience I had all day. But nonetheless, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. My name is Chester T. Moss. That's me, Chester T. Moss. I got it right. Good job. Go me. Go me. <laughs> Chester, yes, listen, this is, this is a, a children's day. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking that, that you could help me tell a Bible story. I guess I could do that. All right, good. What do you want to do? Well, um, you know, there's a very good Bible story. It's in the Old Testament. Uh, it's found in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Uh, it's the story of David and Goliath. Oh, yes, I know that story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who knows the story of David and Goliath? Oh, look, they all know the story of David and Goliath. That's right. Now we don't got to tell it. <laughs> no, no, no. What, what we're going to tell the story, I think it's a good story because, you know, I mean, it's kind of a good children's day story. Really? Yeah, or well, then I want to be David. What? I would like to play the part of David. You can't play the part of David. Why not? I mean, David was a young boy. Oh, well, I'm a young rodent. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but, but David was strong. You know, he was brave. He was, he was good looking. Like me. <laughs> yes, but David was also humble. Like me. <laughs> okay, you can be David. Wonderful, good. All right, so start the story. Okay, so this is a true story, of course, because the Bible is true. We believe that it's the, it's the divine word of God. And, and in the Old Testament, it talks about how David, you see, was a shepherd boy, okay? So he's out, he's out watching his father's sheep. <laughs> what was that? Sound of fix. <laughs> Thank you, but they're not necessary. So, so David's out watching his father's sheep. <laughs> What are you doing? I think they are necessary. <laughs> They're not, thank you. So, so David's out watching his father's sheep. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Okay, so, <laughs> behave already. Okay, okay, so, so David's out watching his father's sheep and his father comes out to him one day, boy, because his brothers are fighting in a war and he has to take them some food. What kind of food? Well, the Bible says he has to take them some bread and cheese. Yes, the cheese. <laughs> I love all the cheese. Okay, really? Yes, I like all the cheese. The Swiss, the American, the monster, the Oli, the throw the loan, the not the what? The throw the loan. Before the provolone, what did you say? The Oli. The Oli cheese? No, I said the Oli cheese. Oli. Now listen, Oli is a little town in Berks County. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not staying with you. Now listen, I think I'm going to spell it for you because you're a little slow. <laughs> okay. 
I will take all the help I can get. Yes, okay, so go ahead. All righty, now listen, it goes like this. You got the O, I, L, Y. You got the oily cheese. Thank you, Daniel. The oily cheese. Why, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> really, yes, I don't understand. I need the O. You need the oil, yes. Why do you need the oil? Because I squeak. <laughs> that was completely cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> but they laughed anyway, this is good. Keep exercising your livers. <laughs> okay, so, so you, like, you like the oily cheese, I got that. Now listen. There's a kind of cheese I don't like. What's that? Does anybody know? You folk are intelligent. What do you think? That's exactly right. Dad, you, thank you. Now listen, you said the Lindberger cheese. Now why do I not like the Lindberger cheese? It stinks. That's right. It, it stinks. Now listen, what's your name? Robin, I got a question for you. Oh boy, what's your question for Robin? Okay, just a second here, I got a question. Now, why does the Swiss cheese have all the holes in it when it's the Lindberger that needs the ventilation? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Now listen, we need to get focused here. Squirrel, yeah, yeah exactly, squirrel. Right, 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 so focus, okay, focus. Back, we're telling a Bible story. Now listen, listen, um, uh, David was, his brothers were fighting in a war, you see, and they had, he had to take them some food. Yes, 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 exactly. So he stops at a McDonald's. No, 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 there would not have been any McDonald's. Okay, yes, Burger King. There would not have been any Burger Kings, Wendy's. There were not any Wendy's. He gets out to where the war is going on, and what do you think he sees? A Taco Bell. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, see, I'm going to help you, though. Okay, okay. So he gets out to where the war is going on. He gets on his motorcycle. No, David would not have had a motorcycle. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. The title says so. Oh, the Bible says that David had a motorcycle. Yes. Where would it have said that David had a motorcycle? It says, David's triumph was heard all over the land. <laughs> Becky Philothy got that one. <laughs> I told you I like her. <laughs> David did not have a motorcycle. He had a bicycle? No. Boys and girls, if David was a shepherd boy, how would he have gotten anywhere? What is your name? Jessica. Hi, Jessica. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. You are also highly intelligent. <laughs> yes. Yes, Jessica said that David would have walked. How far? Well, I mean, David was a shepherd boy. He wouldn't have thought much of walking maybe 20 to 25 miles to get where he needed to go. I don't think much of walking 20 to 25 miles to get where I need to go either. Yeah, yeah, but he did, really, yes. And he got out to where the war is going on. And what did he see? Well, he saw a hill, a hill, yeah. And there's tents, yes. And there's soldiers camped there, yes. And they are the Israelites, the good guys. Yeah, and on the other side, there's another hill, yes. And there's tents, yes. And there's soldiers camped there. They're the Philistines, the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. And in between, there is a valley, and out steps a huge, ugly, giant of a man. Do you know what his name was? Shrek. <laughs> I'm guessing that's not it. <laughs> no. Boys and girls, Chester is quite confused. Would you please help him? The name of this big giant was? Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> Goliath, a.k.a. Shrek. I got you. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Goliath. Goliath, Goliath. And he was big. How big? Bible says he was over nine feet tall. That's big. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every day he yelled at them. He did. He did. He, what did he say? Ho, ho, ho on the jolly green Philistine? No, no, no. He yelled at them every day. Really? Now I don't get it. What? Why did they not fight Goliath? That's a good question. Um, I mean, it was a, an army of soldiers, right? But, but they didn't fight Goliath. Why? Because I think they were scared. They were, they were chicken. <laughs> now, they were scared, you see. But, but, but David comes along, and he yells at David. He did. He yelled at David. What did he say? He said, what, am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? He called David Twiggy. <laughs> David could not believe that Goliath would defy the armies of the living God. Really? Yes. Now, David leaves just for a moment. I get to run all the way home. No. You see, David went to King Saul's tent. King Saul? King Saul. Who's he? He's the king. Hold on a second. If he's the king, then why did he not fight Goliath? Good question. I mean, the Bible says that, that, that uh, King Saul was head and shoulders over the rest of the men. Besides having dandruff, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> no, no, see, see Dave, um, King Saul, you see, did not fight Goliath. I believe that he was also fearful. Really? Yes. Now David leaves King Saul's tent, and now I get to run all the way home. No. You see, David stops at a stream to get a drink. No, he goes to a stream to take a bath. Nope, he went to the stream to go for a swim. No, does anyone know what did he stop at the stream for? To get what? To get what? Stones. Why? Why did he get the stones? To do what? To, to throw it. To, okay, hold on one second. You need to tell me that I got to throw some small stones at a giant. No, you don't have to throw small stones at a giant. Good, because you have a sling. Oh, great. First, this nice lady here in the blue striped shirt. I like your shirt, the stripes. Yeah, working out well. Yes, yeah, yeah. I like stripes. Yeah, I see you like stripes as well. Yes, yeah, so she has me throwing small stones at a giant, and now you have my arm in a sling. No, 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 no. What she was trying to explain, you see, was that the stones went into the slingshot. Really? Yeah. David put the stone in the slingshot, and he started running up the hill towards Goliath, and he swung that sling around and around and around and around and around and around and around. And around. Hurry up, I'm getting dishy. <laughs> Well, he went, left that stone fly. That stone went flying. It hit Goliath in the head. Goliath went down. Whee! What are you doing? Sound effects. <laughs> Whee! Why are you still doing it? He's a big guy. This is going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> so Goliath is down. Yes, David has slain the giant. Yes, David comes back to the city, back to the palace. You see, there's singing, there's dancing in the streets. Go, David. Yeah, yeah. In fact, years later, David came back. He became king. Really? Yeah, there's a lot we can learn from this. Exactly. Yeah, here's what these kids, here's what we could learn. Those giants should look out for little kids like us because we are tough. No, that is not the lesson to be learned. No, no. Okay, here's the lesson for the giant. That guy should have ducked. <laughs> no, no, Chester. The, the lesson to be learned, you see, is that David was not out there on his own. Yes, indeed, he was. You told me he was. He was there with a chicken king and an army full of chickens. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's not the case, 
really. Yeah, David was not alone, you see, because God was with him. He was. He was. You see, that same God who loved David actually um, used David's life, the line of David, in his divine purpose. He loves us so much today. Through the line of David came God's son, Jesus, to live and die for us so that we could spend eternity with him. Or I know how to do that. Oh, you do? Yes. You know how to get to heaven? Yes. Well, that's great. Why don't you go ahead and, and tell us how you would get to heaven? By being good? Oh, by being good? Yes. You know, you do the good things. You, you do the nice things. You help. You serve. You know, you do all that good stuff. And then, whoop, you go right to heaven. Um, well, good things. I mean, it's good. Like we said, we want to shine our lights. We want to we want to let people see those good deeds, you see. And that's very good. And it's an extension of, of our love for God and loving others. And that's important. Yes. But our good works don't get us to heaven. Well, then I know how. By going to church. I mean, look at this. You go to church every single Sunday. You get all the gold stars on your attendance record. And then, whoop, you go right to heaven. Oh, going to church is very important, you know. I mean, whether we're, we're watching online or whether we're, we're here in the building, you know what? It's important. It, it, we learn from Pastor Shuey. He teaches the word. We pray. We worship. We fellowship with believers. It's very, very important. But going to church doesn't get you to heaven. Well, then I certainly do not know. Well, Chester, it's like the ABCs. Well, at least boys and girls know their ABCs. Yeah, what's the A? Well, the A means that we admit. Admit what? Well, the good news, you see, is that God loves us. He loves us so much that he sent us his son. Yes. What's the bad news? The bad news is that sin separates us from him. Sin? Yeah. The Bible tells us we all sin. These people look really good to me. <laughs> I know. I mean... The Bible tells us man looks at the outside, but God looks at the heart. Really? Yeah, everyone sins. I sin. <gasps> I am shocked. <laughs> you don't have to be shocked. The Bible says so. It tells us we've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. Okay, all right. So we all sin. So if we all sin, then how is there any hope? That's where the B comes in. The B, the B, what's the B? The B means believe. Believe what? Like I said, God loves us so much that he would send his son Jesus to die on the cross. Wait a second, why did he die? To pay the price for our sins. There is nothing. We cannot earn our salvation. We can't do enough. That's right. How would you ever know when you did enough stuff? Exactly. That's why it's a gift. It's a gift. And, and when it's a gift, it's, it's our choice to receive it. It is. It's a free gift. It's a gift of grace. And uh, it's the gift that God gave to us, and not by works, so that none of us can boast. That's right. Yeah. So it's a gift of grace. And, and wait a second. Is he still did? No. Jesus died on a cross to pay the penalty for our sins, and he, he's not still dead. No. Three days later, he rose Again, he, like David, slayed the giant. Jesus slayed the enemy. The, he conquered sin and death for our sake. Where is he now? He is in heaven preparing a place for us. So what does the Bible say? The Bible says that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, B, believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. Then what does she the C means we call upon his name. We ask him to forgive us of our sins. And he will do it. He will. He will. You know, we, we, we call upon his name and then we commit our lives to him. I mean, coming to church is, is one way that we learn more about him. But we love him with our, all of our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. This is good stuff is the good news. It's the good news that we share with others. That's right. If the joy of the Lord is in your heart, you should notify your face. <laughs> 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 
That's great. Yes, yeah, that's, right. that's exactly right. We want to be joyful. We want to share the light of, of Jesus with other people. That's right. Yes, yeah, sharing the good news. And uh, we just uh, thanks for the opportunity to come out here, Chester. Yes. Would you go ahead and say uh, goodbye to everyone right now, please? Goodbye to everyone right now. Cheese. Please, please, Jessica, get me some cheese. <laughs> I have a feeling she's going to hook me up with some cheese after the program. <laughs> Just wishful thinking. All righty, good talking to Oh, yes, this is good stuff. All right. Now, um, now, I think we just have just a few minutes, if that's all right. You know what? Um, uh, God has given all of us gifts. He is the giver of good gifts. And, you know, the, the, um, the, the awesome thing is that um, he loves us so much. And like David... Um, he knew, David wrote a lot of the Psalms, and in the Psalms, he wrote that God was his rock, and he was, our, our, he was his fortress. He is our rock and our fortress. We, may, we are all facing giants in our lives, but here's the thing. It doesn't mean that believing in Jesus means that our giants all get taken care of, like in the story of David and Goliath, in that way that we go out and all of our giants go away. No, what the Bible tells us is that God will be with us through it all. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He loves us so much that when he is our friend, he will help us through everything. What an awesome savior we have that we know that we are not alone in our fight, in, um, in our struggles. He is there to help us through and um, he's a good God and uh, it's awesome to, to be able to, to know him and worship him. And, and he's given us all good gifts. And you know, some of you like art. Boys and girls, do you like art? Yeah. You do? Would you help me draw a picture? Yeah. Okay, so I need some ideas because I am not very good at art. Um, my kids are a whole lot better at all this stuff than I am. But, but so what I'm thinking, I could just draw a picture. We'll draw a picture of a boy. Okay, so a nice big circle for his head and then some circles for his eyes. What else does he need? Mouth. Thank you, Daniel. You are, you are so helpful. So a nose and a mouth. Okay, that's good. We're on a good, we have a good start here. What else does he need? Ears. ears. Thank you. What else? Hair. hair. So you want the hair in his ears? <laughs> I know people. I can do that. I've got a, a point of reference. There you go. Right. Oh, oh, seriously, did you want the hair somewhere else? On his head. On his head, of course. You don't want any under his nose or anything? Okay, his chin. A little goatee, they're kind of hipster. No, okay, all right. What else does he need? Inside, Inside his eyes. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give him like the, what are these? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Good job. What are these? Eyelids. Eyelids. What are these? Oh. Eyelashes. Good job. All right. And then Daniel said the, yeah, we're going to give him the pupils. That's good. How about this is the, I could use another cup of coffee right about now. <laughs> What else does he need? A shirt. a shirt. That's a great idea. Yeah, because right now he ain't got no body. <laughs> All right, that was really, really pitiful. All right, so yeah, neck and shoulders and a shirt. I like that. Good job. Maybe a little chip. He needs what? Legs. Legs. That's good. We could use our imaginations for that. How's that? That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because God gave us imaginations too, you know, and that's what's so much fun. I think, I think this is good, and I want to thank you for helping me. You know what? You work together. I love the way you work together to do the program. What did you say? His eyeballs are moving. It was? Yeah, because clearly they're not. Yeah, I, I missed that, I guess. So Anyway, so as I was saying, what's that? What's wrong? What? Oh, are you joking with me? No. You're playing a joke on the ventriloquist? That's really funny. No, he, keeps like he keeps moving his eyes, like he's moving them now? And I, I moved or something? No? no? Okay, so here's the point. You know, honesty. It's yeah. all, it's what? 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 Oh, you, you are honest. And you are telling the truth. Thank you so very much. I, I just appreciate, oh, look, ooh, follow the moving marker. Whoa. Let's speed it up. Here we go. Ready? 
do 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 do. <laughs> Let's slow it down just for fun. Here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I know, it's amazing, right? Okay, so here's what we'll do. Um, we're going to ask him. I know. Um, how about if we do this? We're going to ask him a question, okay? Hey, buddy. I don't know. Hey, buddy, are you, are you okay? Uh, what's, you for real? Right on. You're for real? Right on. <laughs> how about that? I know. And what's your name? My name is Mark. Mark. I get it. I drew him with a, a marker. That's right. Thank you, Pastor Shuey. It's, it's going to go downhill quickly. So just <laughs> hang in there. So how you doing? Yeah, I could use some glasses. Some glasses? Yep, I got to see. Oh, I'm so sorry there, Mark. There you go. How's that? Yep, now I can see this good-looking group. <laughs> A wonderful looking group. We've had so much fun. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. I mean, we got to talk about how God created all things. He's given us good gifts, and he's given us the gift, the most important gift, the gift of his son, Jesus, to... how can he open his mouth? I am amazed, too. I know. It's just really something. Yes, and, and do you know what? Um, and thank you so much. Why don't you stop opening your, moving your eyes for just a minute? All right. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so we learned so many things. We got to talk about the story of David and Goliath, about how God used, used <laughs> how God used David and how he stays with us through all of our battles. He loves us so much, paving the way for us to have eternal connection with him. And um, actually, it's time for you to go. I, what are you going to do with that? Boys and girls, why don't you tell him, what am I going to do? Thank you very much. I don't want to go. I just got here. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. We're just going to go ahead, and we're going to erase your eyes. Hey, who turned out the lights? I'm going to erase your ears. What? I'm erasing your ears. Huh? I'm erasing your ears. I can't hear you. Next, I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm going to erase your nose. Oh, now you got my nose. <laughs> and I'm going to erase up here. Oh, boy. Mark, yeah. Mark, now what's wrong? Now I'm an airhead. <laughs> no, really, I'm open-minded. <laughs> Cut that out. We all knew that was a no-brainer. Front row is groaning. <laughs> Move on. Okay, I'm moving on. All right. And now, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye, Mark. No! I don't want to go. I told you that. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. I'll count to three, and then we could all work together. Working together is such a great idea, okay? I'll count to three, and then all of you could say goodbye, Mark. Don't do it. No, they're on my side. No, they're not. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. No! Give yourselves a hand. That was wonderful. Did you him again? Oh. <laughs> Maybe next time. Thanks so much. Uh, so thank you so much for the opportunity to share laughter. I hope you were encouraged and truth. And, and uh, didn't it feel good to exercise your livers? That's right. You're going to leave church this morning with healthier livers. It's a good thing. All righty. So I'm going to turn it back over to, um, there we go, to Lynn. My name is Miss Marion. Thank you. Blessings. Hey. Maybe next time. Okay. All right. Thank you again, Marianne. That was great. And we can know the children enjoyed it, that's for sure. But we all did as well. Yeah, that's correct. So, but thank you again. And um, thank you to everyone who came. And what uh, we were thinking about as we were 
thinking about Children's Day, you know everyone is really one of God's children. So that, that includes little ones all the way up. Everybody's one of God's children. So as you leave today at the door, we're going to take these two large vases of carnations, and everybody may have a carnation as, as your thanks for coming today and for being special and being one of God's children. So, okay, we're going to end our service with uh, number 185, Jesus Loves Me. And can you stand, please? Sounded good. Benediction by Pastor Shuey, please. Well, thanks to everyone who came out today. It's a wonderful day to praise God. I, Marion and friends, thank you so much. I'm amazed by Mark's board there. It's just uh, truly amazing. Uh, it's magic. And you know, each of us are magical in God's sight because he created us in his image to know him, to love him, and to proclaim him. And that is what we can do. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you and praise you for this day that we can come together, that we can worship, we can laugh, and we can learn. And we thank you, Father, for the opportunities that we have each and every day to proclaim you in a world that's lost in sin to a people in desperate need of a Savior. We thank you for your Son, Jesus, our Savior, who gives us the right to be your children, dearly loved by you. And for that, we give you praise. May the Christ who walks on wounded feet walk with you on the road. May the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out your hands to serve. May the Christ who loves you with a wounded heart open your hearts to love. May you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet, and may everyone you meet see the face of Christ in you. Amen and amen. Thanks again, friends. food in the refrigerators downstairs so please help yourself from food that was left over from last night <laughs> <laughs>